Geschichte. Welcome. Let's get started by dragging a picture onto the timeline. Right-click on it and select Crop to Fit. Then, right-click again to copy the image. Add a new video track and paste the copied image above. Now hide the second track. Then go to Effects, drag the square blur effect, and apply it to the picture on the first track. Further, unhide the second track, then go to Effects, drag and apply the border effect. Afterward, click on it and adjust the settings to increase the border size to 5 and the blur to 1. Next, click the crop icon above the timeline, select the 16:9 aspect ratio, then click pan and zoom. Adjust the grid as shown, use the switch icon to set the start and end positions, and apply the changes. Now click, then go up to scale it down to 60 as shown. Now, click and go to Effects to drag and apply the 3D basic effect. Then click again and go up to Effects and you'll notice it includes Rotate, Tilt, and Zoom features. Now add keyframe points to both Rotate and Tilt. Set Rotate to minus 93 and Tilt to minus 45. Then move the playhead to 4 seconds and reset both Rotate and Tilt to 0 as shown. Afterward, Click the keyframe panel icon on the picture. Select all the keyframe points for rotate and tilt, right click and choose Bezier curve to apply the curve. Then click the panel icon again to minimize it as shown in preview. Now, select all, right click to copy, click on the track and paste it as many times as you want. Starting from the second picture column, go to Media, then press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard while dragging the same picture down twice to replace the one on the timeline. Repeat this process for the rest. Now, click the first keyframe of the second picture, go to Up to the 3D Basic effect and set Rotate to 180, Tilt to 90, and zoom to minus 15, as shown. Again, click the first keyframe of the third picture, go up to the 3D basic effect, and set rotate to 90, tilt to 180, and zoom to minus 15, as shown. For the fourth picture, click the first keyframe, go up to the 3D basic effect, and only set rotate to 90, and tilt to minus 45, as shown. For the fifth picture, click the first keyframe, go up to the 3D basic effect, and set rotate to 180, tilt to 45, and zoom to minus 15, as shown. For the sixth picture, click the first keyframe as well. Go up to the 3D basic effect, and set rotate to minus 90, and tilt to minus 45, as shown. Next, go to transition to apply the dissolve transition to all the pictures as shown. Now click one of the transitions, go up to adjust the duration to 10 seconds, and then click Apply to All, then Preview. Lastly, but optional, add a video track above. Then go to Effect to search and drag down the Appful effect, extend to match the duration below, and click to reduce its opacity to 30 as sewn. So thank you for watching.
The template link for this tutorial is in the description. Have a wonderful day.